Hey good people, what's going on? Uh, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Officially winter has started in Bangladesh. So I'm going to be doing a lot of these winter episodes. And I like actually putting them up together because these are fun. You know, this is always fun to do and people apparently appreciate this more than individual reviews. But, you know, I do everything. So whenever I'm going to be doing comparison or list, it's just part of the fun. Uh, I enjoy these a lot. So today's concept is 12 fragrances I've picked for cooler months. In the morning time you know like let's say going out for morning walk or um, let's say you just woke up you feel like wearing you see a little bit cool breeze outside today i went for a walk really nice you know like when you moment you come out of the room it's fresh cool breeze you feel like walking you don't break a sweat and these are the times you know you go for morning walks and stuff every year i do that this year i'm not sure because of the COVID situation but uh, these are some fragrance i would wear in early morning and uh, these are not really like to say when it's snowing but in bangladesh winters are more like your spring or fall so it stays pretty much like 14 15 degrees so in this kind of cool weather especially for bangladeshi people uh, people who have like middle east like not middle eastern country like uh, you know like asian countries who have mild cold weathers i would suggest this for you you can do this also in your countries if you're from europe or states okay so uh, no honorable mentions i'm gonna go one by one so I'm going to start off with uh, one fragrance I really love and this has been my collection for some times, about a couple of years and every winter comes I reach for this. This is uh, Yop Om Sport. This is a flanker to Yop Om. They have quite a few flankers. I really like this bottle. It has kind of like a colorful presentation, green, uh, pink, uh, citrus, like it's like a lot of mint in there, sweet notes and this one, it's actually one of the fragrances. It's really, really good beast mode for you know like all year round but cold weathers this fragrance actually has better push than even yopom okay so definitely try out yopom sport all right so we're gonna keep that there and we're gonna go with uh, number 11 number 11 i picked up a fragrance i haven't reached for for some time but i think this is a good fragrance and it does do re does really well in this kind of weathers house of diesel this is a classic diesel i think this is only the brave the original one now they have a lot of uh, flankers but when I actually, this is my more newer bottle, I used to have the vintage batch back in the days. And this fragrance was my university scent. It has some leather and it's a leather scent, but with a lot of sweet fruity notes. You know, it's like fresh. At the same time, it's kind of like unique. You don't get any fragrance that smells like this. This actually is the Sauvage in the our times. Okay, so this is a great fragrance. If you see it somewhere, give it a try. And the bottle is so awesome. It's a fist. And it has great performance as well. Morning time, it would be good. So diesel, uh, that is uh, only the brave. Let's keep it there. Okay, so now we have number 10. Number 10, I'm going to go with an Isimiyake. This perfume, Le Dessay Pour Homme Sport. So I kind of gathered the consensus of many people that this fragrance is not really an ideal summer fragrance. As a matter of fact, not the whole, the whole line. You know, <laughs> people like this in mild cold weathers because they say this is a bit strong with the yuzu when i smell it it definitely has beautiful lemon and you can see the sport name and it's all sporty blue and then the grip is kind of like a racket of a squash bat or i don't know what not but the bottle is reflective nice this has great performance you know in the morning time if you want to wear something fresh refreshing kind of like kiwi smelling uh, fruity fragrance this is something i would wear in uh, all morning like and like let's say early morning time gym time excellent fragrance even summertime it performs well so number 10 is uh de Se Purum sport by simiake okay let's keep it there okay number i think uh nine yeah nine and then i'm gonna go for next one let's just call next one i lose track 12 11 10 yeah nine number nine i'm gonna go with lacoste this perfume here lacoste Lom. So there's Lom and Intense as well. Uh, but I love this one because I can see through the bottle and the juice color is really mesmerizing. And it's a rhubarb scent. Rhubarb, orange, mask. Very nice, unique fragrance. Uh, I wear this in summertime, but also in the colder morning. This fragrance actually does pretty well. I know like a couple of uh, good hours of projection. Overall longevity is like four to five hours in colder months. Uh, so great fragrance. I would say morning time. Lacoste Lom is a good choice. Okay. Okay, number eight. All right, number eight, we're gonna go with one of my recent purchases. I really love this. It's kind of like a fresh gourmand. And this fragrance, it, it just, this line is just lovely. I wear the dark, Darker Brother in nighttime, but this one I would wear in daytime. Salvatore Ferragamo Fumo, Casual Life. This one definitely has one of the most eye-catching bottles. 
okay and nice little sprayer big uh, area to spray and this one gives you that feel of uh, kind of like coffee tiramisu chocolatey but a lot more fresher it has the violet leaves so it's like a lighter take on the vomo line this fragrance does really well in the early mornings okay so that's the next one so we have about uh, seven left next one is my favorite this is a classic always will be in the winter time in bangladesh this one really does the best in november all the way to uh, february in bangladesh this is jean paul gautier lamal i have the christmas edition this one if you lift it up you'll see the lamal body so this is basically not far from lamal you can get these with nicer presentation got that mint uh, lavender uh, vanilla a uh, little bit like a fresh opening really beautiful opening followed by something sweet more powdery i like this in the early mornings in winters okay lamal yeah, by jean paul gautier so next one we're gonna go with uh sorry picked up a little bit flu from the weather change right uh, voice a little bit down too next one i'm gonna pick is an excellent uh, release from house of armov this fragrance perhaps is the best next to club new intense man uh, i have tried almost all armov this is one of the best in terms of performance presentation uh, smell really modern this is a uh, milestone by club new milestone by armov this perfume is uh, i would say much better than Miles imperial by creed which this is similar to perhaps they're trying to clone it but they did really good job with the opening opening citrus is very sweet fruity and this is really nice this one the bottle you see is kind of like a golden bottle love the presentation okay so this is milestone by armov next one i'm going to go similar looking bottle from another middle eastern company this one you will not see coming but i would tell you this is a hidden gem okay and the bottle is a bit tacky got this plastic housing but i really like them uh this is lavender femme by alhara main i don't know how much this is going for when i bought it it was under 60 dollars all right so this whole body is kind of plastic inside got glass this thing sometimes comes off not great quality and the cap is sort of like a got this grip nice you know so why this is special this fragrance is clone of aventus for her and when i say aventus for her it not just I would not say this is just feminine it has this beautiful fruits kind of like florals and this fragrance really lasts a long time projects a lot uh, good fragrance to wear in early morning lavender femme by alahar main and this edp concentration i believe 100 ml uh, i will i think there's also a smaller bottle somewhere i saw like 60 or 50 not sure but i'll put down the names of all the fragrances next we have four left next one i think all the four are some of the best fragrances in my collection okay hands down Next one is Mr. Burberry Indigo. Uh, this perfume I bought earlier this year, like a couple of like few months back. This is a clone to Mr. Burberry, uh, which is also fantastic. Got that mint, you know, like a mm, peppermint thing going on. This one is a lot more beautiful, a lot more easy going. And I think this is proper summer fragrance, but nice. It has the sweetness. It has less peppery, um, peppermint sort of feel, which makes it more versatile. I would wear this in uh, early mornings of winter very nice fragrance mr burberry indigo so the next three uh, i'm gonna take a pause because i need some water hold on yeah sorry about that i'm continuously talking so i need some water because you know that flu makes you feel a little bit thirsty so next three we're gonna go next one is gonna be a very well-known and popular fragrance this is gonna be hawas by rasasi this is also good for all year round but cold weather time this is actually a king this is a master this fragrance will last you half the day Okay, so you can wear this any part of the day, you know, like cold weathers, like, uh, let's say, warmer weathers, and at the same time, like, you know, moderate weathers. This is actually a very versatile fragrance. But in the early morning, this fragrance is really beautiful. So morning walk, if you go, put a couple of sprays on your neck, you really enjoy your walk. Rasasi, Hawas. All right, so we have a couple more. Next one I'm going to go with, uh, this is a fragrance everybody should get a bottle of bam i said it okay uh, you asked me like tell me some fragrance which is must have this fragrance if you see the price if you see the smell and longevity i mean if you haven't tried it at least get a sample and you'll see after full wearing what i mean this is one of the best fragrances you can have from the fresh side it's familiar but it's just that's so beautiful this is a uh, lemon heaven okay and after so much praise it's from house of sense story 24 uh gold i think ice okay I, I always forget the name but it's the niche house but with a very good price tag 
this is similar to Dolce & Gabbana light blue women but with perfect perfection of like performance it's just crazy performer you can detect it for a very long time this is a fresh fragrance I would wear in cold weather so it got this kind of like cool uh, frosted glass thing going so kind of has that wintry vibe okay last but not least we're gonna go with uh, a little bit fr different fragrance I understand uh, perhaps this fragrance is a little bit strong okay but uh, if you want to wear something uh, that has Neroli in it like uh, something like Tom Ford Neroli Portofino or something like Mugler Cologne but with added saffron a little bit leather uh, this fragrance from House of Nishane I would highly recommend this is Saffron Colonies this is the elder brother of Colonies okay much darker uh, they have some similarity but I would say this one has its own um, identity okay 100 ml you can have it for a very good pricing this fragrance is just a masterpiece if you see my nishan is there i reviewed quite a few i own about four now um but nishan is an absolute banger of a house mansar nishan you get the best value uh like if you pay top dollars these are fragrances you should pay okay at, at least in my opinion nishan saffron colonies try this and uh, do check out all these fragrances i'll put the names below I think they will cater your need for colder months, early morning. Great fragrances. Most of them are on good pricing. Uh, check them out, okay? At least sample them. Thanks for watching. I think that's it for now. I'll take a break. Later today, I will do some more reviews. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.